Good morning guys. I just spent the last five minutes trying to get this tripod to stand up correctly. I really got to get a new one. I got this one from Goodwill and it just does not work right. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I had several requests for a get ready with me um, segment in a video. So that's what you're getting today. I'm just going to show you what I do. My hair is a little different this morning. I went to bed with it um, not quite dry. So naturally a little wavy so it does look a little different but anyway let's get started i moved this stool out of my kitchen and into my bathroom so that i can sit and do my makeup and relax while i'm doing it play some music and take my time also at night when i wash my face and get ready for bed so i also get um questions a lot on what sort of skincare routine that i um have and to be honest i don't have one at all i wash my face um at night with i've been using this noxema recently also sometimes i use my um tea tree this is desert essence tea tree oil facial cleaning pads i've used about half of these already but if you watched my recent one of my recent videos i did a sponsorship with uh thrive market and i got these from there i really like them i like the way they smell but i, I just like the smell of tea tree oil it has a strong smell kind of like if you like the smell of Vicks Vapor Rub, which I do, then you might would like the smell of this if you've never smelled tea tree oil. But um, I really like these and I've also been cleaning my face with just this Noxema Classic Clean Original Eucalyptus Deep Cleansing Cream at Dollar General. So there you go. Um, and then as far as face cream, I've just been using this Pond's anti-wrinkle cream. And then I also sometimes use the Pond's, um, it's the dark spot correcting cream. Sometimes I get a dark, some dark spots right here. And I find this stuff works really good. You can get this at Walmart or, you know, any place, Dollar General. <laughs> Maybe I get all my face cleaning products at Dollar General. It's okay. So I usually will just put a spot right there. They've already lightened up quite a bit because I hadn't been using it in a while and I noticed those little spots were getting darker. So I'm not saying that like it permanently gets rid of them because mine do come back if I stop using this. But um, I mean it, it lightens them up so you know what can you do. I also have found that I'm getting a couple here on my arm so I'll put it on there too. And it's lightened those up a lot too. So there's that. And then I'll just put this on the rest of my face. I actually just recently started using this, so I don't know how great it is. So I've never really had a skincare routine. I've never used a lot of products on my face. However, I am noticing that I'm starting to get some, you know, I'm aging, I'm 43. I'm starting to get some like, um, noticeable wrinkles like right here and um a, a few right here but not really bad but one thing i was talking to you guys about on instagram the other day is that because i'm losing weight in my face um i'm getting loose skin right here and so i was asking everyone um if there's something that some certain products that i could use um that might help with that and i actually got more responses of people saying please share your responses because i have this problem too <laughs> a lot of them said um, like firming face cream and um look up facial exercises that are specifically for that so i just put this on all over my face I'm actually going to clip my hair up to get it out of my face. Alright, so majority of the products that I use are just drugstore products. To be honest, I've bought more expensive products. And honestly, I feel like the drugstore stuff works just about as well. So, um, the primer that I use currently is the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. Now, if you have dry skin, this might not be the best for you. Anything that's gonna that's got mattifying in it, I would think if you have dry skin, it probably wouldn't be 
great. I have oily skin, especially in my T-zone. So you might wanna look into products that are specifically for drier skin. I didn't finish what I was saying earlier. <laughs> Naturally, I just totally went on to the next subject, but I was saying that I don't, that I haven't ever really used um, a lot of face products or have a beauty routine as far as skincare. But now that I'm getting older and I feel like I'm getting more wrinkles and things like that, I'm, I've actually been researching some different skincares and I'm probably gonna start using one. I haven't found one in particular that I'm gonna go with yet. So if you have any recommendations, if you have something that you think works really good, let me know. Like something that's like firming and um, anti-wrinkle, things like that. That's what I need, desperately. <laughs> Let's get ahead of the problem here. Okay, so I let the primer dry and then I'm gonna go in with my um, foundation. And this is also a drugstore brand. This is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour infallible pro matte foundation. It's the one with the red top. Um, and I use 102, which is shell beige. I feel like it gives really good coverage. I feel like it stays on. Um, most of the day I have a lot of redness if you'll see here in my face and this does a really good job of covering that up and I'm sometimes I use my fingertips and rub it in sometimes I use a brush I do have a brush that I really like and it is this one and this one is from Tarte I don't know the name of the brush because it actually came in a set with this um, Tarte shape tape um, I really like this stuff. I actually used to use it like a foundation and I stopped doing that. But um, it's a contour and concealer. This stuff is really great. Um, this is the color light. But anyway, I really love using this brush. If I don't use this, like I said, I just um, use my fingers. I used to use a beauty blender all the time, but I kind of got out of that. Not sure why. I like this brush better. That's why. I actually have some subscribers here who are like cosmetologists and beauticians and things like that. So, that, so you guys probably cringe at the way I do my makeup, but it is what it is, guys. And my battery light is flashing on here. Why does this always happen to me? I could have swore I charged it. And I have an extra battery, but I don't know what I did with it. I had it when we went to Gatlinburg and I haven't been able to find it since then. So I don't know if I left it there or what I did, but I've been using this natural bronzer. This is from Rimmel and it says zero to zero sunshine on the back. But I've been using this for quite a while, as you can see. I just put this here kind of like on my cheekbones. Just to give me some color. I'll also put it up here. And then I go in with my Bare Minerals. This is Bare Minerals Luminary Blush. I've had this forever also. It lasts a long time and it only takes just a tiny bit. Um, sometimes I also will use this like as an eyeshadow if I just need a little color, a little pink. I really like pink and coral tones. I just put this like right here on my cheeks. And today I'm going to use actual eyeshadow because the video that y'all were commenting on where you wanted a makeup tutorial, I was wearing regular eyeshadow. So I'll do that for you today. Typically I would have just put that on and went ahead with it. Actually gonna go ahead and like straighten my eyebrows out because they're a mess. I think I've showed you this before, but I actually shape my eyebrow with these eyebrow shapers that I get. Um, I get them off Amazon. I'm not sure where else you can buy them at, but they are in my Amazon shop. Um, if you need any, but I will go in and like trim my hair up right here and right here. Um, I had somebody ask about these. You don't want you want to be very careful if you use these things. You don't want to shave your eyebrows off. You don't go through and like do this. Like you want to shape with them. So here I'll show you. 
So you're gonna take the, like the edge of it, the pointy part, and kind of just go around the outline of how you want your eyebrow shaped. Now there are plenty of different ways to do this. This is just how I do it. Some people pluck, some people wax, you know, there's all sorts of different products and um, ways to shape your eyebrows. I just find this to be very easy and it works for me. Now I have a friend who bought some and she didn't like them so it's not for everyone but the ones she got actually weren't um, the brand that I usually get so I don't know if maybe that's the deal but she actually gave them to me. I don't know where she got these at but um, I haven't tried them yet so I don't know how great they are because I still have my other ones. But well my battery died so <laughs> I decided to put it on the charger and come in here and cook some breakfast and then once this is done and I've eaten breakfast I'll go back to finishing my makeup tutorial so um, I'm cooking bacon eggs and some grilled veggies and I'm using one of these carb balance um, tortillas I really like these these are the small ones I prefer the small ones over the bigger ones but as you can see, I'm using my electric skillet this morning. I really love using this because I can cook multiple things at one time. Also, I really love this um, seasoning that I just picked up at Walmart recently. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some more vegetables to it, some more peppers and onions, and maybe it'll even its way out. I don't know. Anyway, I was saying that this seasoning is really good in these um, grilled vegetables. I just use the frozen ones from Walmart, the pepper and onion blend. And I also use it to season my eggs. I'm telling you, I just, I love it. I think it's so good. I've been making sure to get up earlier lately for the last few weeks and make sure that I cook breakfast. Timmy sometimes will eat, sometimes he won't. It just depends on how he's feeling. Um, but I really think it helps get the day started right. I've also been drinking these Celsius drinks. These are really popular right now. They don't have any sugar. Um, it tastes like an orange soda. Um, this one is the sparkling orange. I just recently ordered the tropical one, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I'm not sure how that one is, but I think it has like a pineapple flavor. So I'm excited to try that because I really enjoy um, pineapple. But here's some information on the back if you want to check it out. Like I said, I really enjoy them. Okay, I had to take a little break because my battery died. So I went and made myself some breakfast. Timmy is in the bed. He was up pretty much all night. So he'll probably sleep most of the day. But I've been having this pretty much every morning for breakfast. I've been getting up really early, like 6.30, which is early for me. It may not be for some of you, but I used to sleep till like eight because Timmy has to be at dialysis at like 10 after 10. So, but now I've been getting up early because I've been going to bed earlier, which has really been great. I do a lot better when I get up earlier and I have time to just, you know, take my time, get a shower, fix some breakfast and not be rushed. I think a lot of my anxiety comes from when I am feeling rushed or like I don't have time to get done what needs to be done so this has really been working out for me um so had my breakfast took all my vitamins and all of that good stuff and I'm gonna get back to this little makeup tutorial and I somehow got something on my shirt too which is not unusual all right so um I just combed through my eyebrows with this little spoolie I think that's what that thing's called and then I'm gonna use my Milani brow tint pen with the felt tip brow color y'all have heard me if you're if you've been here a while you've heard me talk about this multiple times this is my favorite eyebrow pen um, this one they used to have it at Walmart but they don't anymore but you can't order it off Amazon all right with mine I like to start here at the corner of my eye and then have an arch and then end it here like this. So that's the guide I go. That's kind of the my little rule of thumb of how I like my eyebrows. Of course, everybody is different. Mine are thinner at the ends, so I fill it in more out this way than I do up here at the start. But I do add just a little. So before I finish this one, you can see now like how thin it is here 
and then I've already done this one so it's fuller on that side and you can see the felt tip on this it just makes it so much easier to work with in my opinion all right so once I do that I take my little brush again and I just brush it out and that kind of smooths it out so there's not any like harsh lines much better the eyeshadow palette that I use is it's got makeup all over it ignore that it's the Too Faced um, chocolate bar and I just picked this up at TJ Maxx that's where I like to get my makeup palettes and different kind of makeups from because it's they have name brand ones that are less expensive than if you got them somewhere like Ulta or um, Sephora or anywhere like that but like I said most of mine is from the drugstore pretty much these I only have a few things that are like really name brand and I didn't pay full price for any of them so another thing you can find good deals on at TJ Maxx is uh, makeup brushes I get these um, like real techniques or um, what's another brand but I don't remember what it is but I, you can get like a pack of different kinds of brushes for a reasonable price and those are the ones that I use so what I'm gonna do first is go in with this white chocolate is the name of this color here and I just like to put a layer of this kind of like a base so I'm going to go in with this cherry cordial here in the crease of my eye and the corner here. This is an e.l.f. brush. It is a blending eye brush. I think I got the e.l.f. ones from Target if I'm not mistaken, but you can probably get them other places. Okay, and then I just take my finger and kind of blend it out. and then do the other side. So like I said, I'm putting it like on the corner of the lid here and then in the crease and it it's kind of messy looking right now, but I'll clean it up. And then I kind of go a little lighter with it, a little higher up. All right, and then I like to take a lighter color and put it across my actual lid and i'm going in with this marzipan it's like a i don't know it's sort of a blush color sort of but it has a little bit of not really sparkle but i don't know iridescence maybe that may be the word and i'm just gonna pat the i'm just gonna tap this onto my eyelid here And then one other thing I like to do is I'll go in with my um, my either a concealer or the uh, foundation that I use, Max Coverage Concealer Brush. This is actual a very, actually a very old brush that I have from Bare Minerals. I used to use Bare Minerals a lot uh, when I was younger, and I really like Bare Minerals. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, but. Um, really good makeup as well it's just a little pricier and then I like to uh, trace the outline of my eyebrow on the top and the bottom and that just kind of gives it like a I don't know a crisp line um, so that's what we're gonna do noticeable but I do feel like it makes a difference and then I'll kind of just blend it a little and then also I will take it and make like a line right here to kind of cover up any eyeshadow that um you know kind of fell out onto the sides of my face here there we go and 
Now one thing I am not really great with is eyeliner, <laughs> especially liquid eyeliner. Um, sometimes I will use eyeshadow for eyeliner. I will just wet my little brush a little. This says smudge liner is what this is called. But I'll get it a little wet and dip it into like a, a dark brown or a black um, eyeshadow and just edge my eye with it. Or I will use this one. This is the NYX. This one did come from... Um, Ulta. It's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I really like this one. Um, it is waterproof. It's in the color black. And this is really good too. I recommend this one just to show you. I have this old, this is an old Maybelline uh, palette with a black eyeshadow in it. And I have been using this for a long time, probably Actually, I don't know. Does eyeshadow go bad? Probably should look into that. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm just going to put this right above my eyelid. Another thing that I sometimes do is, I think they call it tight lining, tight something, where you go in underneath your eyelashes, and that really gives a good look also. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just trying to keep it simple and do um, similar to what was in the video that you all requested. A makeup tutorial on. I'm going to put a little bit of like a light brown um, on my bottom lid. I don't like to do it too dark. Just something really light. last thing we're going to do is mascara. My favorite mascara at the moment and for probably a good year or so has been the Lash Paradise. A lot of people use this. This is the color, I don't know what this color is. Let me put on my glasses. Black is black. And honestly, I have bought the waterproof one before and I did not like it. It just made my eyelashes just seem so clumpy and I wasn't a fan. So I always get the kind that's not waterproof. Um, if you need a waterproof mascara, then I would suggest trying something different. I do feel like my eyelashes have grown a lot. They were super short and falling out like my hair and um, they've gotten a lot thicker and longer. I don't know if it's from the hair, skin and nails uh, vitamins that I've been taking or what, but they definitely are growing. My friend actually thought I had on fake eyelashes the other day. <laughs> I forgot to put this on, but sometimes I will put on the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff does make a difference, I feel like, um, with your eyeshadow. It seems to go on smoother and it looks more pigmented, in my opinion. Um, so I do use this quite quite a bit if I'm like going out somewhere and getting ready just on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm just putting on like my pink just a light um, eyeshadow I usually don't fool with it um, another thing that I use if I'm going out for the day or something I use the Urban Decay all-nighter ultra matte uh, finishing spray this helps your makeup stay on longer and this lasts me a long time but like I said I don't use it every day And you just take a couple of spritzes. Doesn't take a lot. You do want to let your mascara dry first. I'm just going to let my hair be wavy today. Since it's already wavy, I feel like it'll just make a mess if I try to straighten it. As far as lipstick goes, um, a lot of times I just wear chapstick. I like the um, 
burnt these. So when I do lipstick, um, my favorite liner is the Maybelline New York Color Sensational. This is, it says Shaping Lip Liner. This is the color Purely Nude. Usually I will outline my lips just a little um, outside of the actual shape of my lip. And then I'll put a little like here in the middle and on the edges. Now a lot of times I will just put on lip gloss, not lip gloss, chapstick with it. Or I'll put on one of these colors. This is the um, CoverGirl Outlast Ultimate liquid lipstick this is the color yay rose 115 and I really like this color and it is a matte lipstick you're actually not I don't think you're supposed to put your lips together until it dries I think it's dry, so I'm not loving my hair. Like it's kind of, I had it up in that clip and now it's got these little kinky parts in it. So I might put it back up. So I hope that helped in some way for all of you who wanted like a makeup tutorial. Like I said, not a professional. Um, it's just how I do it. Super quick and easy. That's my motto. By the way, I wanted to show you, I keep most of my makeup, pretty much all of my makeup except for my brushes. Sometimes I put my brushes in here too, but I keep those on the counter like in a jar. Um, but I keep all my makeup in one of these little travel cases. It keeps it up like out of the way. It doesn't take up so much space. It unfolds. So it's all in there. I don't have a ton of makeup. I'm a creature of habit. I use the same stuff all the time. I don't need 15 eye palettes. <laughs> You know, one I have one or two, and that's plenty. Um, so it just goes in here. This, I believe, is from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it just, you know, you can just stick it under your cabinet. It doesn't take up a ton of room. Which, when you're living in a small space like I do, we all know storage is essential. Um, I'm going to put on a little perfume. This is the Dolly perfume that I picked up when we were in Pigeon Forge. I got this at... Um, the Dollywood hotel we stayed at and I really like it um, some of them I didn't care for like they have different colors with different scents but I really like the pink one which is fitting because I love pink I actually got my mom the body spray as well for Christmas all right so let's go get this day started I got several things I need to work on today my mom stopped by for a minute and of course Bonnie had to get in her belly rubs my mama treats her just like one of the grandkids. The so one thing I wanted to get done today was change out the knobs on my TV stand. Um, one of them had actually broken a while back and I've been meaning to replace them for a while now. I really like the knobs that are on it. But like I said, one of them broke off and there was no fixing it. So I had to get some new ones. I wanted to get some crystal ones. As y'all know, I like crystal knobs. I have crystal door knobs on my doors here. I just recently got curtain rods that I put up in my living room and kitchen to have crystal knobs on. I'll show you those in a moment. But I'm gonna go ahead and change these out. Hopefully they'll look okay. I ordered them off Amazon and they come in a pack of eight. And these are the knobs that are currently on there. Like I said, I really like these, but um, yeah, this one broke. this cabinet for is to keep all of Timmy's medical stuff in here like bandages, band-aids, um, antibiotic cream, things like that that we have to use um, 
often. I keep here. I keep his INR stuff here. Like I have to check his blood thickness every week with this little machine. I don't know if any of you guys have seen one of these before, but it's like um, kind of like a glucose meter that you use when you have diabetes. Um, you just stick the little strip in here and then it tells you how thick his blood is because Remy <laughs> because he's on blood thinner so we use this every week Remy honey this cat is getting so big y'all look at him look at him and I just keep like a bag full of this stuff and then if we go anywhere I can just grab this bag and take it with us so works out great this is the curtain rods that I was telling you about with the crystal knobs on them. I picked these up at Lowe's and I really love them. Wanna go see Nana? Yeah, yeah. You love Nana, don't you? Look at that tail wag. You wanna see Nana? Let's go see Nana. Come on, let's go see her. It's in the 70s here in Kentucky today. Some of the trees and flowers are starting to bloom. Spring is coming, y'all, and I am so here for it. I am ready for winter to be over. Where are you going? Run, run, run. What are you doing up there? Okay, so I think for dinner tonight we're gonna have spaghetti, but I'm gonna make it with spaghetti squash. I really love roasted spaghetti squash, so I'm gonna show you how I make that. I'm just gonna make up a meat sauce with the Rayos, um, I can't remember which one I got, but I'll show it to you. And put that on top and put some Parmesan cheese on top, stick it back in and bake that. It's really, really good. So let me show you how I make it. So the first thing I'm doing is just browning up some ground beef. I'm also sauteing some onions and garlic. And I'm just going to mix that all together. I like to season my meat with salt, pepper, and then I use this um, Italian seasoning. This is from Walmart. Um, somebody asked me in the comments one day where I got my little glass jars from. These are just the jars that these seasonings come in at Walmart. And then I will refill them. Um, with just any seasoning. I also used this same garlic, onion, black powder, and sea salt. Black powder, black pepper <laughs> um, blend that I showed you earlier when I was making breakfast. I'm telling you, I use this stuff in everything. It's so good. Timmy likes mushrooms in his spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to put these in here. He doesn't like fresh mushrooms. He only likes them out of the can. So that's what I'm using. Today I'm using this Rayo's Homestyle Sauce with Italian Sausage and Mushroom. I had never bought this particular one before, but I actually really liked it. Um, I started using Rayo's sauces back when I did keto. I hadn't tried any in a while, so I was really happy to see that this one was really good. I added a little water and shook it up to get the remaining parts out of the jar and then added that to my sauce. I'm going to let this simmer while I work on my spaghetti squash and what we're going to do is just cut this in half. These things, if you've never cut a spaghetti squash, they're very hard to cut into. So be very careful when you're doing that. And then once we get it cut in half, I'm going to go in and scoop out all of the seeds from each side. You want to rub each side down on the inside and around the edges with about a teaspoon of olive oil. I don't have any olive oil today, so I'm just going to use butter. I have this um, garlic basil butter that I got from Rulers, which is like discount Kroger store. Um, so I'm going to rub it down with that, which will work just fine. And then you're going to bake it in the oven, pre your oven to 400 degrees. And we're going to bake them upside down. Uh, for 40 to 60 minutes or until it's tender when you um, pierce the inside with a fork. So like I said, I'm going in with the butter and rubbing it all over the inside. If you had olive oil, you would do the same with that. I also like to season mine with a little salt and pepper. And I also add a little bit of garlic powder to it. Um, this really makes it yummy. Once I get it seasoned good, I like to flip mine upside down on my baking sheet. And then, as I said previously, we're going to put it in the oven 
Um, I had never cooked these in my new Ninja oven before, so I wasn't quite sure if I should put it on the same settings. I don't remember exactly what time I took it out, um, to be honest, but I don't think I cooked it the full 45 minutes. So just keep an eye on it, and when you can pierce it with a fork, you know that it's finished. So once they're finished cooking, you're going to flip them over, and then we're just going to scrape up the insides, and it's going to shred up kind of... Kind of be like spaghetti, <laughs> hence the name, spaghetti squash. Once I had it all shredded up, I went in and topped it with my meat sauce. And then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese on top and pop it back in the oven until the cheese is nice and melted. And this is what the finished product looked like. I'm telling you guys, this was so good. It was delicious. Good morning, girl. Good morning, little Bonnie. Good morning, Timmy. Good morning, Steph. You got a song for us today? Got a good one. It's a beautiful day for it. Beautiful, sunshiny day. That's right. Partners right here. In crowd. Best buds. <laughs> best buddies, ain't you? Are you best buddies? Got a little sweet dog here in your lap, ready to go. Mm -hmm. She always knows when it's time to do our singing portion on Sundays, don't you, girl? Say, I want to be a part. You want to be a part? Huh? You want to hear the song? What song are we going to do? Got one, got a good one, got a good one. What is it? Can't even walk. Can't even walk. All mm -hmm. right. Maybe Miss Janice Houston will uh, see this. She, she always liked this song. Without him holding 
What better song to hear today than can't even walk because you do your best walking when you got a hold of the Lord's hand. Amen. Thank you for singing along today. Hopefully you'll come back and see us again next Sunday. Bye-bye. All right, friends, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will come back and see us again next Sunday. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. That'll make sure that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. Also, if you liked this video, I would love it if you would click the like button. This helps me out a lot. It tells YouTube that you enjoy my content, and it'll help them to recommend my channel to other viewers as well. I hope you guys have a great week ahead and I will see you next Sunday in our next video. Bye.